morning all today we are going to discuss about the super question theory in our previous class we discussed the basic concepts i mean introduction to the all eight theorems today specifically we are going to discuss about the super question theorem so hope everybody see in the presentation okay so in the super question theorem in this theorem i said that in the, in my previous class we have a three things first whether the theorem is used for on which purpose the purpose of this one is to find voltage or current okay we can find both the things the theorem statement itself is saying that the voltage it can use to find voltage across or current through the particular branch in a network okay and the second one is it is applicable for linear and bilateral and multi source the major constraint for the superposition theorem is multi source okay why because the multi source if the if any problem is having the single source means we can bluntly say that the we can easily say that the this theorem this network cannot obey the multi cannot obey the superposition theorem okay the third one the statement okay the total response i used the term response why because whether i am going to find the voltage or current okay the total response voltage across or current through is equals to the algebraic sum of individual responses the same thing voltage across or current through the given by the network when each source acting alone okay so in easy terms if the total voltage is equals to the algebraic sum of all the voltages when each source acting alone similarly the total current in the network or else the total current flowing through the branch is equals to the algebraic sum of all the currents flowing through that particular selected branch okay so there is be the statement okay in the case of a superposition theorem we have to think about we have to active each source okay we have to find the response when one source is active so if i make one source is active means remaining all the sources must be inactive okay so if the source is active means remaining all the sources must be inactive inactive in the sense all the sources are replaced with their internal resistances if we are applying this superposition theorem for a dc means we are using the term internal resistance if the same thing we are going to apply to the ac means we are we are saying that the with their internal impedances okay so the same theorem will be applicable for both ac as well as dc okay so all the independent voltage sources okay so dependent we are not at all no changes in dependent sources we are not at all going to handle with any dependent source all the independent voltage sources are replaced with short circuit all the independent current sources are replaced with open circuit okay so if we have a if i make if i i think in my presentation i showed i showed the three different examples so first i considered the an example which is having the two sources one current source of 0.5 ampere and another voltage source of 80 millivolt okay so in this case i have a two sources one is voltage source and the one is current source okay so as per my my objective is to find out the current through this branch this is the direction of the current okay so my objective is to find out the current flowing through this branch by using the superposition theorem okay so first i just want to make one source is active another source must be inactive okay if i make this 0.5 ampere current source is active means i have to make 80 volt 80 millivolt voltage sources inactive if i make 80 millivolt voltage sources active means 0.5 ampere current source must be inactive okay so i have a two steps in step 1 i am making 0.5 ampere current sources active so that 80 millivolt voltage sources inactive inactive in the sense i am making that as a short circuit so the total current is divided into two things so the direction of this one is opposite to the current direction given in the previous things why because in this case current direction is this one but if i apply current division the current direction must be opposite so that i am considering negative okay so according to current division rule so i just want to find out this branch current okay so opposite branch 0.5 into opposite branch resistance by sum of resistances 0.5 into 0.3 divided by 0.1 plus 0.3 so i will get this one okay so this is for step 1 okay next step i just want to make the current voltage source 
ఇది ఎయిటీ మిల్లివోల్ట్ వోల్టేజ్ సోర్సెస్ యాక్టివ్ అండ్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ అండ్ కరెంట్ సోర్సెస్ కరెంట్ సోర్సెస్ ఇన్యాక్టివ్ ఇన్యాక్టివ్ ఇన్ ద సెన్స్ కరెంట్ సోర్స్ మస్ట్ బి రీప్లేస్ విత్ విత్ ఓపెన్ సర్క్యూట్ సో ఎయిటీ మిల్ మిల్లి కరెంట్ సో ఐ జస్ట్ వాంట్ టు ఫైండ్ అవుట్ ది ఇట్ బికమ్స్ ఎస్ ఎ సింగిల్ లూప్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ వన్ ఐ జస్ట్ వాంట్ టు ఫైండ్ అవుట్ ఎ కరెంట్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ బి ది కరెంట్ డైరెక్షన్ సో ఇఫ్ ఐ కన్సిడర్ ది టోటల్ కరెంట్ ఈస్ ఎయిటీ the two resistances become series so 80 millivolt divided by 0.1 plus 0.3 i get this one okay so according to superposition theorem the total current is equals to the individual responses so individual currents given by the given by the network when each source acting alone i1 is the current in the previous case i1 is the value of point minus 0.375 and in this case minus point sorry plus 0.2 so i will get the current as minus 0.175 so i am pensing another example okay in this case i have only two sources i am pensing an example with three sources one is 120 ampere current source another is 10 volt voltage source another is 40 ampere current source the same thing I, my objective is to find out the current flowing through this branch in this direction so i just want to make one source active remaining two sources must be inactive that is what the concept so i have a three steps okay in first step i am making the 10 volt voltage sources active so that 120 ampere and 40 ampere current sources are inactive so inactive in the sense those two will become open circuit so the network will shows like this so one voltage source two resistances if i consider this is the current direction means so positive to 150 so both are in series so the total current will become 10 divided by 50 plus 150 so this is very current in step one so in step two i just want to make 40 ampere current source is active so this one the voltage of 10 volt voltage source as inactive and 120 ampere current source as inactive so i'm making this as an open circuit this as a short circuit so the current the total current is divided into two things so i just want to find out the current through this one okay means this is with the i2 is the current which is flowing through 50 ohm resistance so i just want to find out 50 ohm current okay so according to current division rule total current into opposite branch opposite branch 150 ohm by 50 plus 150 so the current in step 2 is 30 amperes so in third step we just activating the 120 ampere current source and 40 ampere current source as inactive inactive means open circuit and 10 volt voltage source as inactive inactive in the sense short circuit so 120 volts so in this case i just want same thing the current division rule but in this case the current direction is opposite to that of this one so i am considering i3 is the current which is flowing through 50 ohms current 50 ohm resistor sorry i3 is the current which is flowing through from 150 ohm resistance so i3 as I'm saying minus why because this direction is completely opposite of given I mean ask direction so that I'm taking minus 120 into opposite branch 50 divided by 50 plus 150 minus 30 amperes so according to superposition theorem the total response current flowing through this one is 0 0.05 plus 30 minus 30 the total answer is 0 0.05 okay till now we saw the two different problem in one problem we have a one two sources in another problem we have a three sources okay so this is the generalized problem which majority of the question papers are targeted to find out the response okay so our objective is to find out the voltage plus in the top side of the three ohm and minus is we have to consider this polarity okay positive and negative so our final response of voltage must be positive at the top side and negative at the bottom side okay our objective is to find voltage across this one so the same process so we have a three different sources 4 ampere 5 ampere and 6 volt okay so we have a three different sources two as current sources one is voltage source in step one i am making the 4 ampere voltage sources active okay so in this case i have to make 5 ampere current sources inactive 6 volt voltage source as inactive 5 ampere current source current source means i have to replace with open circuit and 6 volt voltage source i have to replace with short circuit so that the total current is divided into two things so i am applying current division rule 
so i just want to find out this one so how it will becomes the total current is 4 ampere of this branch 1 ohm divided by sum of the resistances 1 plus 2 plus 3 we'll get 2 2 divided by 3 as a current okay so our objective is to find out the voltage so positive current entering means positive so the total the current division rule find out the current is 2 by 3 that 2 by 3 into 3 we will get a 2 volt voltage 2 volt across the 3 ohm resistor in step 1 okay in step 2 i am making the 5 volt 5 ampere current sources active and 4 ampere current sources inactive means open circuit 6 volt voltage sources inactive in the in the sense we have to replace with short circuit so the total current similar way it is divided into two things the total current is divided into in this direction as well as in this direction so if i consider this one so if, if i consider this one the total division the current division is opposite branch 5 why because they consider negative means okay current is entering in this way but in this direction it will close so we have to keep plus as this one but our objective is to make this one as a positive so i consider as a negative the total current is 5 opposite branch is 1 divided by 1 plus 2 plus 3 so this is the current the total current into voltage i get the 3 ohm so that the voltage across 3 ohm resistance minus 2.5 in step 2 in step 3 making 6 volt voltage sources active and 4 and 5 ampere current sources are inactive inactive means both the current sources are replaced with the open circuit so the total voltage is divided for three elements in a single loop so applying the voltage division rule the total voltage into three we need i mean in a current division rule we are we are writing that total current into opposite branch in the case of a voltage division rule total voltage into same branch okay so we have to find the three ohm voltage means total voltage six into the same resistance three divided by one plus two plus three so we get three so by using the superposition theorem the total response of the network means the total voltage is equal to individual responses means in step one voltage step two voltage step three voltage so in step one we got it plus two volts in step two we got it minus 2.5 in step three we got three volts okay so the total response is plus 2.5 volts okay thank you guys Finally, ask kindly ask if any kind of the queries related to the super question theorem in the comment box. Okay, thank you guys. Have a nice day. Stay home. Be safe.